everyone and welcome back to Fashion Attack. We are still working on the subscriber room makeover and yes, you can follow me on Instagram and apply for the next makeover. But today, let's talk about him because it's time to make his armchairs. But it's still me and I still do not like to spend a lot of money on stuff. So no, we're not going to reapostle this and spend thousands of money and so much time on it. We're going to paint it leather white. You can make it look like leather with paint. That's genius. In the last year, so many creators redid this tutorial, but instead of naming all of them, I found out that the first one was this girl five years ago, so that's the video that I'm gonna credit. You can find the link down below. Now, let's make our own version of it. What you are gonna need for this tutorial is a razor, then you are gonna need three different brushes, one for every color that we are gonna apply, and then three tones of brown, because Vintage used leather goes from lighter to dark, so it's easier if you directly buy three tones. So one very dark, one medium, and one extremely light. And we're gonna merge them together after. Take out your razor and start taking care of all the areas that the lockdown made you forget about. Ah, no, it's not for my armpits. It's for the sofa? Here? I need to shave the sofa? What? That is very correct, my friend. We are going to go and shave the entire surface of the sofa. We do this because if there is a little bit of hairy surface on top of it, the leather look-alike feeling is not going to happen so easily. If we take away all the little hairs, this is going to come away so much better. You see, there is hair coming out. It is working. So shave every single part, the top, the bottom, the sides, and yeah. Put away every single hair. Now let's make an attention game and let's see what you guys prefer to focus on. Is it on this little bit of hair that I'm blowing away? Or is it on the fact that I have an engagement ring on my finger? I'm engaged! Now take out some softener. As if the razor was not weird enough as equipment to make this tutorial, softener is the ingredient that you need to leatherize your couch. We are gonna literally go and mix paint and our softener. According to the brands that you're using, the softener and the paint are going to be different quantities. In my case, I did use twice the amount of paint for half the amount of softener. You're going to see that some chemical reaction happens when you mix these two ingredients together because it becomes so much thicker. This smells amazing. You're going to want to work with small batches, so don't make all the quantity at once because it tends to solidify, solidify tends to become very gooey very quickly and the texture is perfect if you apply it when it's not extremely gooey yet. So you see, it's very solid already. And we go and apply from the lighter color to the darkest. You're gonna need to make a lot more paint than you think because the first layer of paint that you're doing is gonna absorb so much inside the couch and you're gonna end up using like almost entire jar. You have to go around the entire surface with the light color and only after we're gonna layer it with the darker ones. Super important to go inside every single sewing because that is where it's harder to put your paint inside, so press it in. So layer one of color one is done and it looks horrible, but don't worry about that because we need to go and layer on top all the colors. You know that leather, leather, when it becomes old and vintage, it's darker on the corners, lighter in the middle, and that's what we're trying to create. Let's go with some darker colors. Layering time and we are not going to cover the entire surface. We're going to go only on the outsider areas. With the medium color, we're going to obviously cover a bit more surface. And then with the super dark one, we're just going to do inside the edges and the curves where we think it would have been losing less color. There we go with a super dark one. And as you see, I'm literally drawing on the couch inside all the holes and on the areas that theoretically would have had less usage if you're sitting on it all the time, because that's where the color goes less away. If you see that the color did not merge as nicely as you wanted, a little trick that you can use is just dip your brush inside a little bit of water and start melting them together. That's the best definition that I can give so that you can see finally they merge as if they were one color and not separate colors put at once. Day number two! And here are all the things I didn't take in consideration yesterday. I live in Israel. It's 4 million degrees. The rest of the planet is preparing Christmas trees and we are still in bikinis at the beach. So, this dried too quickly. So, we're gonna do one section at a time. This means we're gonna do first the front side, all the light, all the medium, and all the dark so that they can merge together because they're still gonna be wet and it's gonna be easier to make them look like one merged beautiful color. But before we do that, it's super important to go and sand your couch. Yes, 
that's weird but it's super rough right now and incredibly it becomes incredibly soft incredibly incredible yep 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 we're gonna have to do sanding in between every single round of paint i forgot to tell you something awesome we have a new patron subscriber so big shout out for kismet to be my new patron and also my mom she's the only one from before Layer number two, and this technique went so much better than yesterday. So basically, I am doing only one section at a time so that the color that I'm doing is still going to remain wet. So that when I apply the second layer of color that is the dark one, it's going to be so much easier to merge them once at one all together. I'm going to do this also with the third one, the darker one, and you can see the effect is completely different, and this is the way to go. Take one step back, look at your chair, and go back and add lines and darker areas where you feel that it's missing, and it's going to turn out perfect. Guys, the chairs are done and they turned out amazing. It required me the end three layers of paint. I would recommend even doing the fourth one maybe, but as we know, we are on a time budget, not only a money budget, and we need to finish this entire apartment in three days. So let's go see the result of the chairs and don't forget to subscribe because next week, the entire living room is out. His reaction when he came back to the apartment literally made me cry. This was like the highlight of my year. It's so amazing. Are you sure you want to go back there? Go there? 